Hey guys, welcome back to your Objective-C tutorials and uh, now we're going to be going over another variable type called a float and that basically contains any values with a decimal place. So in the previous tutorial we went over integers which you couldn't actually have a decimal place and, uh, and then we're going to intermix the two, integers, float, what's the difference, all that stuff. So let's get going on where we're at. So we're in Xcode. If you haven't seen how to set that up, go to back to, I think it's tutorial 2, get you right up to this point right here. Float. Alright, so float, we're just going to put a simple variable name of x equals 4.523, you know, whatever number you want. Just put some decimal places. Next one, we're just going to put float y equals you know, 3.21. And then we're gonna put maybe float sum equals x plus y, similar to what we did. Wow, that's not plus. Similar to what we did with the integers there, but I want to show you the decimal side of it, um, just to give you a little bit more buoyancy, a little bit more flexibility as you guys program in the future. All right, we're gonna get rid of this, and we're also just gonna put in. Um, as you guys remember a placeholder for that value um, for our variable which if for the integer was an percent i the percent being a special character the i in the last one was for integer in this case we're going to be doing percent f and uh, so the special character percent followed by f stands for the float so that designates what kind of variable data type we're, we're specifying so that's the first value um, which we'll say is x and then we'll just simply we'll just write this in first value f plus the second value for the placeholder equals percent f again so as we outline that again we have to state which variables we want to put into those placeholders which indicator so for the first one we're going to put in x comma the second one we're gonna put in y comma and the third one we're gonna put in sum so as you can see there gonna go ahead and run our application and we have some problems thank you compiler debugger for uh, pointing those out to us we forgot some semicolons above nobody's perfect and there we go let's uh, run the application alright so it looks like it worked so what we've got uh, up here is we've got X showing up here up here now as you can see with the float designation it automatically defaults to six decimal places and in this case up here we only have four but it defaults to six so it adds two zeros as placeholders for the float value I'm gonna show you how to tweak that so you guys um, don't get frustrated with long values that you don't even specify um, so we've got our values that calculate it. Looks like uh, the the uh, mathematical formula up here that we embedded within another variable worked as well. So we are good to go. Um, so let's tweak this up here to show us actual figures. So what we're going to do is between the special character percentage sign and our indicator for our variable, the f, we're going to put in a point on this one. All right? And bear with me because uh, you'll see what happens with the point. Just putting a, uh, a period there. On the second value, you can see we've got 0.21. So we have two decimal places. And so in this one, we're just going to do it for kicks and giggles so you guys can see what's going on. We're going to put 0.2. All right? And in our sum, which down here you can see is four decimal places, four decimal place values, and it defaults to six. We're just gonna round it to point one. All right, so you follow me? All right, so go ahead and run it, and you'll see what happens here. All right, so if you look down and compare what we've done, you can see that just adding simply a period or what they call is a formatter between the special percent sign and our float value it's gonna round 
to zero decimal places. It's going to round for us automatically. There we go. Bam. Okay, the second one where we put 0.2, the formatter, which is going to be two decimal places, has rounded this, which is actually our initial value, has rounded it to 0.21, which is two decimal places. So that's perfect. The next one, as you can see, is only one decimal place, which we put in the formatter 0.1 to get 7.7 .7. so it's actually rounded it up to 7.7 .7, whereas before it was like 7 point uh, what was it 73 or something like that so it's rounded it to the nearest decimal place for us okay so hopefully that uh, that makes a little bit sense as far as these four matters that we added in here um, you could stretch this out to four if you'd like rerun it and you'll see it's our, it's our exact number up there four decimal places passed um, you could bring this one out to point uh, three it's all up to the four matters that you put within the decimal within the the parameters there so within our string here we have put in our float values we've added four matters to uh, make it look nice so if we're looking to round things we can round them to certain decimal places so that's all kind of uh, some of the more of the basics for float Let's do one more thing um, just to show that uh, the variables work nicely together. And what we're going to do is put an integer value in there that we learned about in the last lesson. We're just going to change this to 3. So if we were to put an energy value, value and then put a decimal place, it wouldn't actually run for us. Uh, it would run, but it wouldn't actually calculate the decimal places for that. It would only take the 3 out of there. Okay. Um, one last thing that we have to do, actually if we run this right now we'll get an error and that is because in our indicator here we still have an F so we're going to delete that out and change it over to an integer because we've modified this float value up here to an integer and uh, the name stays the same Y so we're good there so now we should be good to go to run and uh, just show you how the float value variables right here works nicely with our integer value giving us finally our final float value it looks like we have rounded to the third decimal place so that was a lot of uh, information thrown at you don't get bogged down it only gets easier as you move into it you start understanding the variables how they connect how they work together and uh, we'll all stay afloat together so uh, hopefully you're uh, hanging in there We'll uh, see you in the next tutorial.